Hey, what's going on, guys? I want to talk a little bit about how God is calling a lot of you guys and many other Christians around the world, but a lot of people are being hindered by uh, distractions and and by other things. And some of the things that the God that God has for you, uh, it's not happening at the rate or the speed or in the right uh, timing that God would want because many people are delaying. Uh, things uh, because of their own actions and, and their own choices. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit. And uh, one thing I want to um, you know, mention is that everybody has um, a calling. Everybody has a calling that God would want them to have. And they have a life um, even pre-planned for them. And I'm not going to get into um, you know, free will and, um, and all that stuff. But really, God has uh, something amazing planned for you. And I'm talking about kingdom, Christ-centered, and God-glorifying work and and a life for, for you. And oftentimes people don't realize it and they get caught up in, you know, the distractions of the world. And in heaven, there are, there are things that God has uh, locked up for you that he wants to open the keys for and just pour out into your life at, at the right time. But Sadly, there are also uh, doors and there are also opportunities and, and treasures and things that don't get unlocked for you. And it just remains there. It remains idle and it remains unused. And what I mean by that is a lot of people, they get um, uh, caught up with uh, the distractions that, that come on their life. They um, don't really let go of certain things. They don't really humble themselves before God. And though God wants to give you uh, certain things, certain opportunities, uh, ways to you know reach out to other people, uh, uh, ministry opportunities, uh, resources, even uh, many other things, God wants that for anybody that's willing to walk uh, this this life with Him. And I talked yesterday about uh, being in yoked with Christ and being able to have Him in the driver's seat and Him being at the center of everything, but. As much as God wants that for everybody, a lot of people, they don't get it. And many are called, but few are chosen. And if you are chosen, then God will allow and and can use you for uh, big things, greater things. And again, this is a a true and a very biblical um, thing that a lot of people often ignore because they think they're living a life worthy of Christ. They think they're living a life that is sacrificial and, um, you know, God glorifying. But it's 1% tainted. It's 0.1% even tainted with, um, you know, the Jezebel spirit, with uh, satanic uh, influence, with uh, a tainted um, heart. And again, I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but to really be able to optimize and to really utilize uh, and and unlock the things that God has for you, you have to really be able to um, empty that and really be able to um, put yourself in a place where you can be... um, uh, used by by uh, God because Christ is there. And, um, you know, a lot of people right now, they're still holding on to a lot of things and they're holding on to baggage. They're holding on to past, you know, issues. And, you know, whatever it is that in your life circumstance you have, if you're holding on to that, I want to encourage you guys to really just be able to let go because God is trying to position people uh, for righteousness. He's trying to position people so that he can use them for this next upcoming um, just season. And, and again, I talk about revival. I talk about how God wants to restore and to bring um, just the church back to the way um, that God had originally envisioned that in Acts. A lot of people ignore the fivefold ministry. They ignore spiritual gifts. They ignore, um, you know, good, solid Bible-based teaching. They ignore uh, healthy um, church communities. They ignore these things and they think that they could have it in a certain way um, and, you know, in, in one dimension, but really God wants to do it in multi dimensions because he has a desire and a plan for churches, for communities, for your spiritual life. But because we hinder ourselves and we shoot ourselves in the foot by blocking what God has for us and, and unlocking those things for you, um, we stop ourselves and we uh, hurt ourselves because we make that choice. And it's not that God you know, uh, refrains from it. He wants to give. He wants to give abundantly. But he knows that if he gives the wrong time with the wrong motive, with, um, you know, the wrong people in our life, if you're being advised by the wrong people, if you have the wrong people in your life, 
when he does open that door or that key of a blessing from from heaven, then when it comes down, it's going to negatively affect the people around you. It's going to negatively affect you. And this is hitting some people because you know what I'm talking about in your individual life. You you know that the Spirit, Holy Spirit is tugging at you to let some things go. He, you know he's um, moving you in a certain direction. He's um, wanting you to position yourself more correctly for righteous things so that he can take you to the next level. And God does it really does want to elevate you. He wants to put you in a higher position with more spiritual influence, with greater responsibility, more impact. Because again, um, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And God is literally searching the world for people that would be obedient to him, that they would lay down their life for him, that they would completely surrender their life for them, uh, for God. And a lot of people, they don't do that. And many are called and, you know, God tugs on many people's hearts, but because they're ta- they're tangled up by things of the world, they're tangled up by distractions and, and the wrong, um, you know, things, whether it's people, whether it's um, you know, idols or addictions or whatever it is, God can't take you and he can't move you to the next place, even though he wants to. He wants to open that door. He wants to position you uh, for greater things, but he can't because you're caught up. And if you, um, you know, see your life and you zoom out, you can even objectively tell yourself, yeah, I struggle with this. I have this on my uh, plate and I, I um, you know, have hesitations even mental hesitation. I'm not even talking about big ticket like sins. I'm talking about even mental reservations. Some people say, oh, no, God can't use me in that way. Or no, God has, you know, a plan for me to do this little thing, but not that big thing. That would be impossible. It wouldn't make sense for someone like me. And they even stop themselves mentally. And again, whether it's a satanic distraction or whether it's your own fleshly thinking, either way, it's stopping you. It's stopping you from God wanting to really open up and really moving you to the next level. And so I want to ask you guys just to pray, to really um, open up, because again, satanic activity, demonic activity, and and just how he wants to stop the church. Satan wants to stop the church from uh, growing, flourishing, and really taking on, you know, evil things, and just um, being bombarded with um, news, and just different things that's going to confuse you, and uh, have anxiety and fear over you. Uh, These things are really real stuff that's really hindering some people from stepping out, from worshiping, from doing ministry and things like that. And so I want to ask you guys to continue praying because uh, many people are are caught up and they're worshiping things and they're uh, stopping themselves from from what God has for them. And so, um, yeah, I'll I'll talk to you guys uh, more about some of these things as the Lord puts it on my heart. Um, But um, God bless you guys. And I just I, I hope that you guys keep praying and really consider Uh, specifically what it means in your life for this. And so talk to you guys soon. God bless you guys.